practical with. You know, I had that last week. Now, this is kind of like real TV stuff. I'm going to show Adam what it really is while I read the list. Okay. Let's just watch this video. Watch his face. See if you can tell what it is. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, it's a real pattern. Okay. I, I, I'd like to get one. All right. Here's is it a a dildo tampoon or tampon? I guess. I like, no. the, I like your first. Tampoon, yeah. yeah. A dildo it's, tampoon. Yeah, it's a tampoon. It's like a hurricane without the wind. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that. And it's not a kebab thingy for the grill. A kebab thingy. Apparently thingy is now a word. Uh, censored pump. I, Why I, would anything be censored on this <laughs> show? I would imagine that's probably a, a fuck pump is what the... Uh, a fuck pump? I would think it'd be more like a, you know, a, a, butt a, pump? a cerebral dick pump. That was Jen's guess. Yeah, so, okay, it's, it's a massager, it's a loop for the shower, a penis, a fake dick, a butt plug, a wand, a ring pop. What is a ring pop? Is it like a ringa? It's a ring pop. <laughs> it's not ringa, but it's pop, lad. Okay, uh, what name uh, two songs Ringo wrote? That he wrote? Yep. Um, or one song. Ringo wrote um, uh, It Don't Come Easy. How about Octopus's Garden? That too. And what song did he sing on? Octopus's Garden. Uh, this guy talking to Adam Rifkin because he's a genius as well. And uh, and uh, of course um, they're going to put me in the movies. They are, but you're in the movies already. Ah, right, 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 right. Yeah, Ringo. Yellow bitch. Submarine. Boy, how was good. He was good in that. Yeah, yeah. I liked him also, and then the Blue Moon, Love it, Ringo. And you know the irony is, Ringo was considered perhaps the least pretty of all the Beatles, yeah. and yet he ended up with the hottest chick. Of course he did. Barbara Bach. Guess what? We share the same birthday. You and, and you and Ringo? Me and Barbara Bach. Oh. Barbara Bach and I. Is that right? <laughs> yeah, Barbara Bach and I. But Ringo and I, sure. Okay, uh, uh, Barbara, you ever see his wife, Barbara Bach? Of course. We're dying okay. from anticipation, Charles. Yes. What is the Milk him, milk him. I, I'm talking with Adam Rifkin. Uh, what movie did they meet on? Caveman. Who wrote it? Uh, Carl Gottlieb. What other, what other movie did he write? Jaws. I love this guy! <laughs> this is what you call internet television. <laughs> All right, um, Adam, would you, uh, would you tell the boys and girls what it is? It's going to be so obvious to everybody when I say it. It is. It's a device for the reduction of flatulence. That's correct. Can we show? There it is. There's proof. As Adam holds it up, we see it on the screen. And uh, <coughs> that's actually what it is. It's a device. So basically, you put this thing up your ass. And this is a patent, Adam. This is like... Uh, I oh, is this a that. description of how to use it? Oh, yeah. This, you have to have all these things in the patent drawings. There you can see you put it up your ass like that. And then... Uh, this is another description. Is it like a cork? I, I think it li it's like a, it just lets the gas come out con continuously and consistently. And that's like a little filter down there. And you got these little, that's like a filter plug. So the filter is supposed to, uh, what, catch the smell? Any of the debris that may come out. And it's it's very fascinating. I'd I mean, be embarrassed to submit it to the patent office. You have no idea. But the irony is, this guy's thinking like, honey, I got the idea. <laughs> What is it, Martin? <laughs> it's something to cut back on your gas, you fucking pig. <laughs> wait, wait, where's the... Uh, where's where's the here it is. Does it say what year it was? Uh, yeah, sure. 2001. 2001? <laughs> I is, thought for sure it was going to be like 1812 or something. No, like I have that. that over here. That's just called a wand. <laughs> uh, but 2001. So this is a relatively... This is a, this is a device that was invented during the... This, our technological age. The Clinton administration. And wow. The, this is the background. <laughs> wow. The, no, this present invention relates to a device to reduce problems with discharge of intestinal gas. That's a problem? <laughs> uh, some individuals have a sphincter that seals against such linkage. Those people, as intestinal gas is formed, pressure builds up in the anal area. <laughs> so this is basically, if you go, oh man, I gotta blow some wind, but I can't. You stick this wand up your tuchus, boom. I can't imagine anybody not being able to. And we will have this device available on Fleischer's Universe store. That's right. <laughs> this the, uh, does, this, does this exist? I mean, I know the patent exists, but, but does the device exist? Oh, well, it exists there. You see, a lot of these patents, uh, they don't actually make it to the market. And I can't imagine why. But these, you know, it's not easy to get a patent. Where's the drawing of how to use it? Uh, well, it's uh, right over here. Because uh, in looking at this drawing, it's smaller than I thought it would have been. The ass or the, the device? The ass is bigger than I thought it would be, and the device is smaller than and I thought it would be. And this up here, that's, that's uh, what do you think that's like, marshmallows? That's colon. That's guess, colon, huh? baby. And the appendix oh, is right in there. it's tiny, so you don't know what's in there. It goes pretty hot, far up there. Well, that's it's the like point. It's like a thermometer. 
Wow. So mm. you're supposed to just wear this all day long? Yeah. It's Who the idea. fuck invented this thing? I can tell you right now. Melvin Cowell. Of course, a guy named Melvin. And he's in Jefferson. We can call him up. <laughs> 